here we have the Unagi Model 1 electric scooter. They call this the Tesla or iPhone of scooters. And I've been researching this for weeks. The reason why I needed an electric scooter is because I like to do small commutes. I hate driving, but I just want to make it to the gym. I really love, on first impression, the simplicity of it. It literally looks like I'm unboxing a giant iPhone, so <laughs> let's open it up. Do the latches on the sides. And we have Gyoza helping us out today. <laughs> so I looked up a ton of videos on this because I was so obsessed at how unique this scooter was. I think its main competitor is probably the Ninebot Segway. If you have that scooter, let me know how you like it or don't like it. I think I just put up like this. Okay, slipping it outside of the box and holy crap. Let me put it down before I freaking break it. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this. I wish like videos had like smell-o-vision already because it smells like fresh rubber, like that new car smell. More power, baby, more power. I'm gonna move that to the side, undo this. I saw a bunch of videos on this, but honestly, it's like, I've never really seen anybody talk about this. So the quick backstory on why the hell I'm getting a scooter is because I just wanted a short commute and I was tired of walking to the gym and wasting like my energy on especially leg day. <laughs> I wanted something to get me to the gym like real fast and then get me home real fast so I can just get my day done. Matt and I ended up meeting a guy at a sushi place at our favorite sushi restaurant and he has a scooter um, for like DUI reasons so he's not allowed to drive. So anyways, I digress. But that's like a brilliant idea. I don't have to spend money on getting a whole ass car and I could just get something for short commutes. Um, no one recommended this to me. This just popped up online and I was like, let's give it a try. I think it used to cost around either 1900 or 1200 originally. They dropped it down to 900 and then for their clearance sale uh, to get rid of all their 2022 models, they dropped it down to $590. Say what? It was a steal and I had to snag it. So here we are. We have this like quick button right here that allows you to um, fold the stem. Whoop, all right, there it goes. <laughs> and look how easy that was. One of the main things that everybody pointed out was its portability. And like, look how easy that is. It is so light. It says, um, I think they said the Model 1 uh, dual motor was like 28 pounds. The stem right here is made out of um, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. And the rest of it is made out of silicone. You have its durable rubber wheels and it's also made out of aluminum, I think. <laughs> It's textured, so has a nice grip, I guess, when you step on it. There's no suspension on this scooter and there's no air that you have to put into the tires. So basically no maintenance, virtually none. Just keep it clean, keep it charged. All right, guys, this is Unagi Model 1 dual motor ASMR. And we're gonna start with this. the kickstand down so we can stand it up while we work on it. Uh, some people said they didn't like the kickstand, but hmm, that seems pretty sturdy to me. Here's the handlebars. They come um, in a different box. So let's take that out carefully, so you see. <gasps> okay, throw this baby over there. And like I mentioned earlier, it's literally a freaking iPhone. It's, it's just, Look how modern that looks. That is insanely nice. Another reason why I really had to get this was because of the name. Like, come on, Unagi. My pet snake's name is Unagi and I think that was just a sign. Let's take the cover off. Gills is just chilling. Careful, careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob, careful SpongeBob. Careful SpongeBob. Patrick, the lid's already off. Nothing in here. Instruction manual with the specs. We will be consulting that in a little bit. That is so nicely organized. That's like the packaging experience with this is amazing. We've got the charger and its power cable. We got the main handlebar and some screws and it comes with a uh, hand screw thingy. So 
So really nice. I don't think you'll have to use power tools with this because it's so simple. It has a nice weight to it, not too heavy, not flimsy or light either. Has um, silicone handles right here. So it has like a nice grip to it. Ooh, there's a little bit of give to it. I thought the handlebars in the videos were gonna be a like hard plastic, kind of like this. That's nice, it's firm though. That's what she said. Throttle right here and we have the brakes right here. This is the horn and this is the button to switch the different modes, the speed modes. Here's the power button. You guys will see that in a little bit. And here's the connector that goes into this. And we're gonna connect that right now. I'm gonna wedge it in my armpit and line these up. Carefully connect it. All right, that was easy. Just shove it in there. Put the handlebar inside. Pretty easy, just put the screw in. I look like a hot mess. <laughs> I literally just flew back home from Vegas uh, for a family vacation. I don't know about you, but the holidays were so rough. Honestly, I'm not a very festive person when it comes to the holidays. Every other holiday is fine, but around like Thanksgiving and Christmas, I just, I get so burnt out. There's just like no room to celebrate sucks but having said that I got to go on a family vacation I got to visit the mother and the siblings they were really happy to see me we had food we went to the arcade it was very wholesome and it was just really nice being around my siblings again and my mother double check these two over here next step turn power on you have the speedometer right here that shows you your um, speed shows you the mileage right here, shows you the battery gauge, and I, now it says P, which I'm assuming means parked. What this does is the throttle. This button does the speed modes. You just double tap it to change the speed modes. It's one, two, and three. I believe their top speeds go up to like 20 miles per hour. That's if you unlock it, which you do by doing this. It's like, it's like a freaking like game controller. You hold these two down, the throttle and the brake, while you hold that down, you press the power button 10 times. And when you do that, it unlocks the top speed. This one is the horn and it's not really a horn. It's just more of like a super, super loud, obnoxious beep. So here's what it sounds like. It's really loud. My uh, suggestion is to get like one of those like traditional bike bells, which I plan on getting, which I think would be super cool. Giyos is checking out the scooter. I'll probably test this out tomorrow when the sun is out. Today, I couldn't really try it out because it's rainy. It's not touchscreen or anything, but what do you guys think? I'm only 4'11". I'm really, really, really short. <laughs> so. This is like the perfect height. I did read some reviews on people who complained about the height, but if you're super tall, I don't think this is the scooter for you. So this is what it looks like when I'm on it. Um, its portability is insane. So all you gotta do is push these two buttons down, hold it down like that, and you're good to go. If you are like, if you need to take it up the stairs or something like that, yeah. Maybe for like a really big dude, this would be easier to carry. It's still a little hefty for me because I'm really small, but I can still carry it, which is awesome. And the wheels are made out of a super durable plastic that have holes in the side of them um, to emulate like suspension. I also have this neat brake light here. So not only do you have the brake up top near the throttle, but you also have this physical brake right here just in case. Don't expect this to go like 50 miles per hour because it's not. These are just literally for some smooth, like cruising commutes. I think they said that it goes up to like 15 miles in total. Here's the charging port. I heard in a lot of videos that this was actually kind of like annoying because either it'll come off or 
It'll fly open when you kick the uh, kickstand out. It's not a deal breaker. Another thing I forgot to mention is that this is a kick to start scooter. What that means is it will not move on its own when you press the throttle button until you kick and get some inertia, some movement going, and then it'll start moving. Let's get my living room cleaned up and let's take it for a test drive. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> I am a total chicken when it comes to any like freaking vehicle or moving object. So it was super smooth and the throttle is very like, it's very adjustable. It doesn't just take off. Um, I mean, maybe if you're in like mode three, I only tried it on mode one because I'm in my apartment. Kickstarting it is like no problem at all, super smooth. And if you saw like Gilza was following me around, <laughs> I thought that was super cute. Kick, and then you just go. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, so that was me pushing down on the throttle a little bit more. And I can only imagine what the third speed feels like, because that was pretty fast. Well, that was fun. If you've seen me on Twitch, I've done a little bit of product reviews here and there. And if you'd like to see more tech reviews, comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and ease a wrap.